Hello everyone, this is MCP Club Live and we are here in Vilnius in Microsoft Office and we have super guest, it's Paola. Hi Paola. Hello, how are you? Nice, uh, so Paola, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so a uh, couple of words, uh, I'm a VP of Enterprise Security, I'm also an MCT and uh, I've got my own company, plus I'm a partner for a US company that is called iDesign. Uh, I'm a penetration tester and I'm also a speaker on several conferences, including uh, the heads worldwide. Okay. Yeah. But what's penetration test? Oh. Maybe someone did it. Yeah, so penetration test is uh, basically speaking uh, the situation uh, in which the client asks to check if the infrastructure is okay. Uh, from the security perspective, sometimes people call it hugging because uh, it's like a hacking, but from the legal perspective, it cannot be called hacking, it's just called penetration test, research, or however you put it. Okay, and more first question for you is about last week. Mm -hmm. Last week we was in workshop. Yes. And tell us, what is MCT Summit? So MCT Summit is an annual conference that is organized uh, for a couple of years actually from trainer, for trainers uh, from trainers and by trainers. And uh, the thing is that uh, it's really nice to see each other uh, for three days because we are like a family and uh, we really, really like to share our experiences so that we can be better for the next year. And uh, this year it was in Warsaw, I was also organizing it. And um, I hope and I've heard it was a good success. Yes, so yes, I like it. So tell us a little bit uh, in detail about how it isn't hard to organize that kind of event, to bring all the pieces together, you know? Yeah, well, from the time perspective, I would say not really hard. But when we, uh, because I wasn't the only organizer, I was also working with my uh, friends Daniel and Sylvia. And uh, for the first time when we sat and discussed Summit's ideas, oh, this was a lot of discussions, a lot of planning, a lot of, uh, a lot of ideas, a lot of uh, offers. And of course, uh, there was also a financial aspect that was really important because we had to pay for the dinner, yeah. guys. And, and uh, so and the dinner was nice. You know. Yeah, that's great. That was the that was the purpose. And uh, at the end, when things are closed, deals are made and things are ordered and everything is set up, the time is just flying and you enjoy the summit. Sometimes you coordinate things. So during the summit, it was actually very nice. But before, yeah, it's a lot of work. But on the other hand, the satisfaction is bigger. So it doesn't really matter how long do you see then. <laughs> and uh, it was your session on during the MCT summit. What it was about? It was a uh, crouching admin hidden hacker. Uh, it's a kind of cool title on security. But uh, what was it about? It was about uh, hiding and detecting traces. So whenever somebody hacks into your system, the question is how can you hide yourself? And on the other hand, what kind of traces do you leave? So uh, this was a kind of game in between two positions, so that if you want to hide, plus if you want to discover somebody, what should you do? And uh, because of uh, Windows operating system, we were doing this on Windows 7 actually, and Windows 8 is going to be the same. It's an operating system that is approved by the military, it means that it's fully accountable, so that there are no things that cannot be monitored, it's just a matter of appropriate tool. Okay, and once again about MC Summit. Last year it was in Stockholm. Okay, and how it was? It was very good. I, I like Sweden, so I don't mind Stockholm, specifically in the summertime when it's uh, light all the time. <laughs> and uh, before that, it was in New York, in the UK, and it was also very good because New York is a very old city, I would say, very old town. Uh, with a nice castle, with a very nice old town. So uh, every time we organize a summit, we, we organize something that is called Ghost Tour, which is a kind of uh, idea of the excursion to go to the old town of several places and walk people around and tell them interesting stories about the history and ghosts too. Uh, so so um, 
Yeah, we've kind of copied this idea because it's a tradition. Okay. Uh, but uh, in Stockholm and New York and our summit, from the participants' perspective, I like each of these very much. Okay, and um, if it's possible, can you compare, for example, this year event and last year and year before? So there is a lot of difference or some kind of. Well, um, the thing is that a participant. I don't want to compare. I mean, we were better. Or no, no, not in this way. Just, just a just general idea. Yeah. So general idea for us was to be as hospitable as possible. That's the first thing. Second thing was to pay for you guys in every possible manner, meaning dinner, bowling, a gold store, and so on. None of these excursions were actually paid by you, and this was our goal because usually um, you just collect money for people to attend some dinner and so on, but why not just include it in a fee? But on the other hand, because we organize it in Poland, Poland, from the European perspective, it's not really an expensive country. Um, the, the, the fee that you paid was 200 euros per three days, including all venue, uh, dinner, lunch, coffee breaks, two parties, and so on, so everything. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, price was really competitive with other summits before because England and also Sweden are pretty expensive countries. So just to compare, I hope that everybody is, everybody enjoyed it. Yes, yeah, so once again, thank you Paul for a great event. It was nice and I really I like it. it. Yeah. So, okay, uh, next question about today then. Uh -huh. so, what it was like Croatia show Windows Server 2012? Yes. Tell us. So uh, the idea of the event is to uh, make people a little bit more aware about new technologies, which is uh, in this case Windows Server 2012 that uh, just appeared on the market uh, a couple of days ago. And the uh, thing is that uh, with the minor release of, of Windows in this time, we have a lot of improvements that uh, can actually play also from nicely from the security perspective, from the management perspective, and of course from the virtualization perspective. So uh, the, the, the major idea was to discuss what's new, plus show some interesting functionalities, uh, maybe not the ones that you can directly read in the internet, but the ones that are a little bit more hidden, not that obvious, uh, to make people a little bit more interested uh, in so, um, we all know that you are MVP and security, enterprise security, yes. and can you just several things, can you tell us just several, several things about new security stuff in Windows Server 2012? I will help you. Okay. PKI yes. and Red Management Center, just for example. Uh, these two are very nice, but uh, let me first talk about my favorite. Okay, okay yeah. Uh, so very nice, uh, very nice solution is a uh, group managed service account that we discussed today. And I'm a huge fan of it because uh, whenever you install service on the account and the service is not running on a built-in account, then the password is stored in the registry. And during today's seminar, we were actually grabbing that password. So um, it's actually a huge problem whenever I'm doing a penetration testing so that I can see this problem almost in every customer's network and even if they say like they've done everything perfectly there's always one service somewhere that is actually running on a domain admin's account which is a very bad idea because as I said previously the password is stored in the registry so this new functionality that we have first of all well I would say first of all the problem was solved in 2002 well, where we had a managed service account and with that uh, you could actually use this account to, for a specific service for a specific computer to be able to solve this problem but it wasn't really possible to use it uh, whenever you are doing clustering so for example for a SQL server failover cluster and uh, now uh, it's called group because uh, you can manage um, the accounts that can be used by the group of specific servers it can be for example uh, cluster nodes and uh, on the top of it you can use this account as the one that the services can run on which prevents uh, people to get access to your password whatever they way they pick. Yeah. yeah. So don't forget. <laughs> don't yeah. forget the stuff. Okay. No, 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 no. And uh, there are also many other improvements. So 
uh, PKI, the RMS, uh, and uh, all the improvements regarding Active Directory, things that appear in GUI, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're talking about recycle beam and granular password uh, policy and uh, all, all similar things. Yeah, well, many improvements, uh, many things that are under the hood, uh, which is, for example, very delicate solution, not really, really uh, promoted, DHCP fell over, which is a really simple idea, but at the same time really needed. Yeah, that, yeah, that increases, uh, increases availability of the HTTP server. Whenever things are broken, you've got two, and they are managed in a very reasonable way. So today I showed uh, how the DHCP server can be load balanced, uh, so that uh, whenever uh, you change the assignment, the percentage of how load balancing is done, I showed that uh, we, it's actually working. So this was the, the major purpose, it's working, surprise. Yes, yes, <laughs> I saw that it's working. And the um, question is, how about audience? It's not first time no, you're no, no. presenting something in Vilnius, but yeah. what's about audience? Uh, um, um, well, audience was great. I, I really appreciate the fact that they stayed at the end and the room was full. Yes, yes, totally. Yeah, so this was very nice and nobody left uh, during the session, so this was pretty cool. I like it very much. Uh, I, I mean, it means a lot to me because it, it means probably that there, there was something interesting happening. On the other hand, uh, I've got the impression that uh, you know the weather outside is super nice. So at the end, after the coffee break, I've got the impression that I've lost them for a while because I was talking about a pretty hard topic, uh, which is dynamic access control, which is not easy and you need to move your imagination. I gave a couple of examples, uh, but still, it is a difficult topic. So I just you know. Um, announced it and then we, we switch back to the others so, so to make it that our seminar a little bit more alive but uh, audience is always really good it's not my first time here last time um, I was also on some partners conference and it was also very good so I always enjoy to come here and Microsoft local local Microsoft office it's really nice yes <laughs> yeah um, thank you as well to the tomorrow Mm -hmm. You have a presentation in Riga. Yes. I and then after all in Tallinn. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, so so we wish you good luck. Thank you so presenting, much. Presenting presenting new stuff related with Windows 7 2012 in <laughs> Latvia and Estonia. Yeah, thank you so much. This thing is actually very crazy because after that I'm going to Germany. Uh, still with this week. And still with this week, uh, after Germany I'm going to Beirut. So that's going to be super crazy, but I uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate what you're saying. I'm going to need some help. <laughs> really? Be rude. Yes, yes, yes. Project. Okay, <laughs> so we wish you double luck. Thank you. <laughs> double luck. So once again, thank you for all. Thank you for joining us. And uh, see you guys. Bye. See you. Bye bye.